Hello everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. In this discussion, I'm gonna talk about how a quick guide to QLF CIC pipeline for Android. And then I will mainly focus on to automatically build and generate Android APK using QLF CIC pipeline. And also I have my open source sample Android project link in the description below so you can check it out later. Yeah, this is Yameu. And firstly, I want to quick introduce you about myself. I'm Android Software Engineer at Jira ERV Solution. And I have over two years experience in Android development. And I have recently graduated with Kunda Science BCSC this year. I always hungry to learn new technology and I have been trying not to stay in comfort zone not much. And I love doing coding and dancing. Firstly, so what is GitLab CI-TV? GitLab CI to US integrations. So it's a subject part of the GitLab that build and test the software whenever developer push code to applications. So what is GitLab CD? CD means Canadian US deployment. It's also a service that plays the change of every code in the production, which results in everyday deployment of production. And CNCD configuration is also a built-in feature in GitLab. So in this figure, we will see uh, the developer commit their code and put feature branch to GitLab remote, and then GitLab CNCD subject will automatically feed and tags. So you don't worry about any other kind of stuff like waiting or result for your project. After successfully accepted or completed your CI stage, then there will be GitLab CD service. It will support you to production states, so it's ready to release your app to commercial states or user. And what is GitLab CICD pipeline? GitLab CICD is co configured by a file called .gitlab CI YAML. It plays at the repository root. And this file create a pipeline which ran for changes to the code in the repository. Pipeline combines job and state. So what is job? Job define what to do. For example, job that combine our task code, multiple job in the same state are executed in parallel. If there are another concurrent runner, state. So what is state? State define when to run the job. For example, state that run tags after stages that combine the code. So the first state will execute first. For example, if there are five states defined in your GitLab CI YAML, so the first state is gonna execute the first, right? So what is runner? Job are executed by runner. In GitLab CI CD, runner run the code defined in job GitLab YAML. A GitLab runner is the lightweight, run the code, and send the result back to the GitLab instant. So uh, without GitLab, uh, without runner, you, your job cannot execute. So it will do nothing. So how to use GitLab CI YAML and how it work? Let's see. That I mentioned before, you can't run without using this runner. So this is runner. This is a style of runner create. And then you have to declare variable. This is the variable declaration style of GitLab YAML file. So please make sure you have to use the same value. Uh, it will be the same with the B2 and B SDK version or and GitLab B app module in your Android, uh, Android Studio IDE. In this before script, you have to write an accessory code like installing Android SDK with their respective version and already declare in the variable. And of course, you need to add stages. In this case, there are two stages, build and tax. Uh, this is the style of building job. As you can see, there are two jobs and you will see this blue line blue color name that you can make whatever you like. It's up to you. The first job is link debug job. 
that represent base state, that, uh, that is for base state. The second job is diva tax, job for tax day. As you can see, that is the job name, assembled debit. Uh, this job is for base state, so you can see state, equal, uh, state uh, column bit. And I will explain this details quite later, but for now, I want to explain about artifact. What is artifact? Artifact is a little file that you can generate any file with specific file, but so, so you know, the, uh, without you know, this normal, this there is the normal way that you know that we typically define this URL in bit the greater at module file in our Android project, right? The reason why I have created this project is two reasons. First, I want to change dynamically with any custom link. As you can see, the base URL statement. And second, I want to generate the custom APK file name, not a debug APK. Uh, it will automatically, because I want to automatically change by using Galaxy and CD service for this pub, two purpose. So why? There should be question, you know, why do we need to use Galaxy and CD feature, right? Uh, we can we can easily generate B and APK B, uh, if, uh, generate APK file by just open in our Android Studio and B, and then we can easily change with this link, you know, with custom link by doing copy and paste, right? For me, I think it's so boring text just to, you know, uh, just to make change the link and again again generate if you can find but in this case uh, i don't want to open uh, in this case i don't want to open android studio id for this kind of stuff and there's uh, many other features that support by galaxy sp pipeline for android projects so i would like you to go to it yourself and use it in your android project if you're using Galaxy IC configuration in your Android project. You just only need one file, Galaxy The other two files is optional. And I added Go Climate Yammer because in my open source sample project, I added Coca-Cola variable feature. So that is for now for you. That's why I put it in my Android project. And then I added secret property file for logical thinking. And also, it's also optional, so you can customize code whatever you like. In Gala CSP Studded, you will see CSP Path if you click Setting Menu. Then you click, and then you click this CSP Menu. As you can see, you can easily add or edit video of it. And this video of it is to use dynamically update base URL without using Android Studio ID and Use custom application finding in Docker FCI YAML code segment. In this video section, there are key values and types, uh, properties. As you can see, there are two types, find and variable. So you can do whatever you like. In GitLab CI CD setup, if you click the finding section, you will see like this. So every time the robot push their feature, branch to remote, it will automatically appear as a pipeline transition. If pipeline is successful, you can see green button, and as you can see, red cross, another green one. That I mentioned before, there is a job name, assemble debug job for base dates in script, which means it will create temporary fine call secret one of properties file. And in this base URL, we will already create our custom URL link that I mentioned before. For custom APK finding as well, uh, so because of, so, and because of the artifact, it will automatically generate APK with custom APK finding as an output, so you can easily download it when on your Android device. Uh, this is a lot to get in your programming because uh, so this is your task. Yeah, I think you will be understand easily if you take a look. 
So it's time for you. Why don't you give it, give it a try, right? Uh, this is my so-called link and it's super easy. And I like to go through with your so-called and clone it and then customize it in your application. Uh, these are the reference for my presentation slide. So thank you. So that's all. Uh, so feel free to comment in the description below. And I know if I if I know the answer, uh, so uh, you can ask uh, uh, anything if you if you don't uh, if you don't really understand what I said. Uh, so uh, so if I know the answer, I will tell you or ask. I will also Google it because I'm not an expert and I'm just sharing the knowledge what I know. Yep, sharing is caring. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.